what's up, pairs, and welcome back. It's good to see your smiling faces. If you're not smiling, this was awkward and it never happened. <laughs> so an au pair friend of mine sent me a DM on Instagram and she asked me if I could ask you guys, what would be the best ideas that you guys can think of for her to give her host family as her farewell gift, final goodbye gift kind of a thing. And so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing all of them with you guys and if I were you, I'd stay till the end because the last one is my personal favorite. So let's go. Scrapbook of your time together. Scrapbook of photos from the whole experience with your host family and host kids. I like photo gifts, like collages and stuff. I did a collage with a photo of us all and framed it. Staples helped me with the printing. So Staples is a company in the US. I don't know if it's anywhere else around the world but I, I know that they're in America. This is definitely a popular gift amongst all pairs. And I think it is great because in this day and age, it's nice to not always, we're always looking at our phones. And so it's nice to have something that you can hold and you can feel. And I don't know, there's just something really cool about just having photos that you can just touch. And for me personally, photos hold a very special place in my heart. I bought books for everyone based on what I learned that they like. So I think this is a great one because you're spending call it a year with these people, you're going to be learning a lot about them and what they like and what they don't like. So a personal gift of something that you know that they're gonna like is probably the best thing ever. Photo album with pictures in chronological order from the first day plus wishes with each pic. Photo books, I'm going to make a book of photo memories of us all together. Photo album, letters, badges for the kids, special meaning, picture framed. Photo album with all the memories. I gave the kids a book with my voice telling it. Photo book of you and the host kids. Walmart prints cheap and also try Shutterfly. I made a photo album and a self-made dictionary with words I taught them in my language. Photo album. A photo album is probably the most common amongst au pairs which they give to their host families at the end of their year, at the end of their time is of being an au pair. But just because it's the most common doesn't detract from it in any way. It's still a great gift. I wouldn't be able to do the self-made dictionary one with words that I taught the boys from my language because I only taught them the bad words. <laughs> and I'm sure that's a lot of you as well. <laughs> if you're not yet following The Bro Pair on Instagram, what are you doing? Do so now. Here are some of the funny and relatable au pair memes which you are missing out on. If you're enjoying this video so far, then please give it a like and subscribe if you aren't already. Let's get back into it. I painted a very cartoony picture of my host kids and their dog. I actually really, really like that idea. So I think it's in my head that as I'm reading it, it's kind of going to be like a caricature where like you accentuate certain features of the person you're drawing or painting. But I really, really like that idea. So if you are artistic in some way, I would definitely recommend that you use that. I don't know, something that's personally made. I think those nothing beats that gift ever birthdays christmas whatever other holidays you get personal gifts like that where you actually made it yourself perfect nothing beats it one of your belongings for the kids and for the whole family a photograph session so a photograph session would actually be pretty damn cool i like that idea a lot and what, leaving one of your belongings with the kids i think that's also quite a nice thing to leave behind so if you're a guy, you can, can be one of the, your shirts. I mean, even if you're a girl, it can be one of your shirts. So a clothing item, um, if I'm just thinking now, there was always like a, a vest that I used to wear around the house. That would have been like perfect to give to one of the boys. T-shirts for the kids. I like that idea. So like a custom made one. Yeah, you could get one with like their names on it or something. A recipe book of your and their favorites. You see, like I'm, I'm a person who loves food and I spoke to one of my host kids recently and he said that he misses my steak. So I think that's actually a great idea for the family as a whole, especially if you made something that was from your country that they didn't necessarily make. And also it's a great thing for the next au pair because then they already know what food the family already likes. I made a four minutes long video with pictures about our year. We were all crying. So as you guys know, I'm a sucker for videos. I love videos and video content. I don't know, there's, there's just something about taking the time to make a video. I love that. I am the gift. I stayed. Lol. Just kidding. <laughs> but for real, a photo book of you and the family or just the kids. That's, that, that was pretty much a Jared answer. 
a thank you jar with little notes with the things to say thank you for. Photo albums, personalized keychains. I don't know, I've always felt as though gifts should be something thoughtful and personal that caters to like each person specifically. And the more personal, I think the better because it just shows how much effort that you've put into like learning about your new family and that it'll mean a lot to them if it's something like really, really personal. Would also love to know. Well, I hope you're watching this, Ophelia. I hope that's how you say your name. I was thinking of drawing stuff for the kids. Don't have any other ideas. Please share the answers. Well, I like the drawing idea. You know how I feel about art and using your art form to gift someone something. And after this video, you have a lot of ideas to choose from. So good luck. Something typical from my country. I don't know, an example would be like that recipe book of like all the recipes that you made from your home country that you made for your host family. So, and it's also just something to remember them by. So if you're Colombian, something from Colombia, South African, something from South Africa, Hungary, how many countries can I name? Hungary, Norway, South Africa. No, that's cheating. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> Germany, <laughs> Australia, New Zealand. Oh, I'm bad at this game. <laughs> I printed a picture of me with my host kids on a canvas and asked the former au pair to do it too. I think that's really cool that you did that because it shows the previous au pair and the new au pair. And it also makes the kids feel like there's nothing wrong with having now two different au pairs in their lives and having a relationship with two different au pairs. I think that's actually a great thing to share with with your host kids personalized pillows with pictures of you and the host kids i think this is another great idea personalized gifts are always the best so my favorite idea of all would have to be this one something i did but never shared i took several pics of my kids that i planned not to share with my host family so at the end of my year last christmas two birds with one stone <laughs> i made a photo album with pictures of the kids that they never had seen before. My host mom cried, lol. Also, a box of their favorite treats from my country was another option for me. I love that. Hiding pictures from your host family just to keep them and show them at the end of your time as of being an au pair. That is absolutely perfect. And I will say that an honorable mention would be that if you have a YouTube channel like me, and I know many of you au pairs watching this, you also have YouTube channels, and you made videos during your time as an au pair, with your host kids, they can be literally anywhere in the world and they'll be able to see those videos and be able to reminisce and think about all the great times that you shared together. And I think that is so cool. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing if you aren't already. Do you have a farewell gift idea that I never mentioned? Well, leave it in the comments below. And as you know, I reply to all of my comments. I hope you have a great day. I will see you in the next one. Bye.